Well, good Thursday evening, True Believers. Our college signing celebration week spotlight shines tonight on Keokuk High School, which proudly exported four exceptional student athletes to the next chapter of their careers at an event on Wednesday, with Quincy University scoring a pair of recruiting wins there. The Hawk Swim program profits in its own backyard by adding one of the most decorated in Gem City history, a three-time state qualifier and two-time state medalist as a senior, and Brendan Wooster, whose name is splashed now all over the Keokuk record book. It means a lot because I, I did the same thing with Dylan. Dylan tore it up four years ago, and his records were up there, and that's what was pushing me. Whenever I'm there, I take a look up at the record board, and. I see my name up there more than his now, and I hope that eventually down the road some other kid sees my records up there and thinks I want to be that guy, I want to beat him. The early mornings, late nights, the drives to Quincy, it's, it's all worth it now. Love the school, love the campus, love the people. I met some of the teammates, love them, like the coach, and it just being so close to home, and it's just, it felt like a good fit. It's not going to be anything different. It's the same, same length of pool, same pool, so just better competition, but yeah, I should mostly be backstroke still. Definitely need to get stronger in the weight room, and I'm going to work on that. Our coach is the guy that makes our weight training program, so he's going to help work me on that, and we're just going to get stronger, faster, and better. Right now, I'm looking into education, being a history teacher. I've always liked history, so I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go the first year and see if anything pops out to me. Diego Garcia also opted for QU, choosing basketball over football and seeking to fight his way into the fray at point guard for the Hawks after averaging 13 points, four assists, and nearly six rebounds per game as a senior for Zach Summers. I mean, it's great. Regardless, even if I wasn't playing, I'd be a coach. So, I mean, it's perfect. I'm, re I'm just ready to play. It was great. I feel like it's, it's kind of like home, and that's what you need when you're going to college. Very high level. I mean, I, I'm going to have to shoot better if I'm going to be playing at, col at a college level. I think my effort's always there, which is, that's never an issue, but you got to be able to shoot when you're at that high of a level. So if I improve that and improve a little bit of dribbling, because I want to become a point guard ultimately when I'm done with this. So if you don't love the game when you're out there, there's no, going to be no point. When you're, especially at a D2 level, all them guys are fighting to make it even higher. Some of them not even wanting to be there because they want to be at a higher level. So they're going to be clawing, they're going to be fighting. So you really need that toughness. I want to be at um, Health and Human Services because I want to become a social worker. So that's my main thing. And this area definitely needs it. If not, I can go to an even bigger area that needs it because the world needs it for sure. So. Chad Brown's eye for under-the-radar football talent proves accurate yet again in landing Kia Cup wide receiver and punter Lucas Sweeney to the Monmouth College family. A young man with great measurables and an apt fit in the Fighting Scots high-octane offense. Just, you know, Coach Braun's an amazing guy. I feel like he's going to be able to make me, like, reach my full potential. And the facilities are awesome, the campus is nice, and it's close to home, so it's going to be great for me. That's perfect. They uh, run a similar offense to Keokuk, so I feel like it's going to be, in, like, a really smooth transition. More wide receiver football IQ, like, from going from QB to wide receiver, I mean, it's going to be an easier transition, but there's still a lot, like, like body placement, where to move my body around and stuff on the field. Uh, definitely an exercise science major, uh, getting, like, the strength field, like a strength coach, anywhere around there. And a bright new future looms on the track for Keokuk Distance and cross-country standout Riley Olson at Southeastern Community College. Yeah, so I, he talked about running the steeplechase and then the 3,000 and 1,500 just continuing in that. The steeplechase will be something different. Are you looking yes. forward to doing that? I'm so looking forward to doing it. I've been excited about it. It's a really exciting thing for me and I'm very glad that I got the opportunity to do it. Um, I really like that it was super close to home and that I could commute back and forth for at least the first semester and um, the coach was super nice um, the first time I met him and everything and um, one of my friends is going there from Burlington so I do don't definitely want to go somewhere after SCC but I'm gonna major major in elementary education and then I eventually want to become a teacher and a coach and tonight at 10, our Zach Richardson will begin diving into the Illini West mega signing celebration goodness, as well as all of the other day's goings on. With your look at the local docket, I'm sports director Chris Dewar.